Now the area's certified most accurate forecast. Your weather on the fives with meteorologist Jordan Lehman. Welcome back. It's Friday morning and sunrise is just minutes away, folks. Here's Sturgeon Bay where over the last hour we started to see the patchy dense fog clear out. And the reason why is we have the wind picking up out of the northwest and it's 45 degrees. Likely to see some sunshine roll here through Sturgeon Bay very shortly. So we have some clouds hugging the eastern sections of the area out to the west by Wapakas, Stevens Point, Clintonville and even the Appleton area now getting into clear skies. The only remaining fog is left over by Door County. Again, that will be heading off to the east very shortly here. Here are temperatures pretty mild again as we start our day mid and upper 40s. The cool spot is Washington Island. Yes, surrounded by water there at 39 degrees. But for the rest of us, it looks like we'll be getting into the 50s today with morning sunshine followed by a few afternoon clouds. But the word for this afternoon is windy as that northwest wind will be out and about. We will have high temperatures today even with some sunshine in the mid 50s. I think 56 is what we'll reach later on. So here's our wind forecast. Not too terrible as we start the day, but increasingly breezy with about the midday hours and certainly into the afternoon. We could see some gusts close to 30, maybe 35 miles per hour by the end of the day. So we have high pressure out to the west of us, but why am I showing you this? It's kind of a blank slate, but this is Saturday's storm and it's going to develop here uh, as we go into about six o'clock. It'll start to develop some precipitation and head closer to us right now, though. We have mainly clear skies working in from the west, a little cold front that will be diving south and cooling our temperatures today. And this is the rain from yesterday. We don't have to worry about that at all. That's going to be heading away from us. So as we see here on Featurecast, mainly clear skies with a few afternoon clouds as expected for today. Here's as we're heading bed tonight. Uh, mostly clear, so nothing to worry about heading through Friday evening. It's tomorrow morning. We'll start to get a few more clouds, and I'm showing you our in-house computer model here. Uh, this is the take of tomorrow's storm. It's going to be dropping to the south, as mentioned over the last couple of days. Afternoon and evening, we're going to have a chance for some light rain or snow down to the south. North woods, it looks like you are in the clear with just cloudy skies, and that heads out before Sunday morning. But here's another scenario. Here's another take. This is the European model now that brings in the chance for snow down to the southern half of the area. And this is uh, likely how I think this ends up here as we go into tomorrow afternoon and evening. Heading out again by Sunday morning. So a batch of five to seven inches of snow will be possible in far southern Wisconsin. So if you're heading to Madison or Milwaukee tomorrow, you're going to have to watch out for a sloppy mess. Here locally, though, it looks like we'll have a chance for some grassy accumulation south of Appleton near the Fond du Lac area, maybe an inch or two, but that's just about it. Here's what we can expect. The snow type is wet and maybe some heavy snow, but it's mixing with some rain and it's been so warm lately. It will be warm on Sunday too, so any snow will melt pretty quickly. I don't think we're going to be shoveling a whole lot as we go through Saturday. So for today, mostly sunny, becoming windy and highs will be in the 50s. Now for tonight, a nice night, mostly clear skies down to about 33 with that wind starting to calm down overnight. Here's your seven day forecast tomorrow. That's snowy mix to the south and 41 on Sunday, partly sunny and 52. Light rain, maybe some snowflakes to the north, possible again on Monday with another system and 49 the high. 